Marcus Alvarez, which is a um, species originally described from um, Asia. And uh, we found it here in the reefs at Bocas del Toro at one meter depth. It was overgrowing some of the, um, it, it was amongst um, Acrophora cervicornis reef. Some of these branches were overgrowing um, octocorals. So here we're a little bit concerned that this alga might be, um, might invade some of the reefs in our region. So we're working on collecting today for algae. I'm looking for a species of Champia villiari. Well, I collected it. <laughs> now I'm sorting it, uh, detaching it from its substrate. It's epiphytically growing on um, some, what do you call it? I can't find it. Amphioras. And I think it was also growing on a gelidium. And this large one here is a Botrocladia. Very pretty. It's a red algae. It's also in Rhodomenales and Rhodomenaceae, which is the sister family of the Champia. Yeah, so the main uh, yeah, the main, um, yeah. And that is usually uh, me a semi nervous. But when we think of semi nervous, usually the blade isn't quite as. Uh, and it's also broader than that. So, and it's not. Uh, I guess maybe. And this is the. I think it's Lingia, but I'm not exactly sure. Lingia? interesting species. Uh, it's a multi conceptacle which is very clearly seen in all these tips and the species is a unique plant that maybe is a new geographical record for the Atlantic and it's a very interesting because it's very very common uh, all over Bocas. This is probably a new discovery. We found crystal scrolling algae in association with a sponge. In a cross section, you can see the two organisms will mix, were intermingle, forming a very interesting association. And here is this specimen. We have some screws. I can bring for you.